Right, this is the Leap Motion, the long weighted toy. And first the unboxing, not much to do, but well. You can see this comes off very easily. It's a solid box, I like that. And let's check the Leap Motion out then. Here's the device itself. Looks quite nice and solid. And let's see what else we can find in here. Cables, some kind of uh, manual. And I actually checked the uh, drivers already. There is no uh, driver CD. You have to download them from uh, leapmotion.com setup. I already have the drivers. So I'm just going to connect it up and see how it's going to look like. There are two types of cables. This actually looks like a USB 3 by the looks of this. Maybe it's not, maybe it is. At least my hard drive has the exact same con uh, connection and it's a USB 3. So that's a short one and here's a long cable. So I think it's time to connect it up and see how it works. Well, it looks like it's working. Wow, this is awesome. Right, this looks like it's some kind of a demo system. What's this? Oh, that's the 3D space. Quite nice effect, I have to say. And it's very responsive, I have to say. It's extremely good. I wonder how do I go to the next screen, or is it just a demo or something? Nope, no enter. So what I'm supposed to do? Okay, I move the hands away, I guess. This is awesome. I actually had no idea that it detects the movement like that. This is absolutely amazing how accurate this thing is. Okay, it can't see the fingers touching, but... So you have to just move the hands away and it uh, goes to the next one. I don't know what the hell that was, but...
hell is this? That's crazy stuff. That's amazing. The speed. Right, the road is number two. Ooh, scary. Much control on this one. Yeah. Okay, so this is a uh, touchless uh, app. What? Right? This number two. This time I'm not touching the scrolls, so uh, let's try to go to forum. Here we go. Uh, that was not supposed to happen. Looks like scroll is just uh, click anywhere and just scroll it like this. Yeah, how do I go back? Just easier to uh, grab the scroll bar actually and just scroll it to this. I think at least. Right. I think the last test is uh, try it in a game, so uh, I'm gonna try that next. Right, this is Crisis Free Test, and so far I have no idea what's going on. very very sensitive and it starts shooting on its own okay it's extremely sensitive I have to say oh. looks like I'm getting the hang of this but it's impossible to shoot and I have to mention that the mouse sensitivity is on minimum in the game, so um, how do you jump in here? There we go. And sometimes it just stops working. Whoa. And goes crazy. I don't think I'm gonna actually win a firefight, so I'm gonna avoid that. So, uh, well, I think that's it for this thing. All right, leap motion uh, on Mac test number two. There we go. <laughs> Doesn't like it so well. <laughs> What's it supposed to do? Minimize. Hmm. Other way around. Oh, there we go. This is very bad one. Clap gesture. Uh, what was the other one? The finger up. Three fingers up. So that's that one. There we go. That seemed to be working fine. Or not? Let me try. Nope. 
What is this? There we go. Right, anything else? Oh yeah. What's that? So you've got... Quite a lot of commands. That works well. Yeah, they definitely need to make this for Windows. That is awesome. Alright, do that again. Better view. Seem to be working pretty well actually. It does take practice. It does seem to be quite specific in the gestures. But it is actually better than mouse, you know. Could be pretty useful. But I honestly don't think it's gonna be a replacement for a mouse. Might be. I'd say about ninety five percent. Accuracy. Yeah, but it's still missing out about half the gestures. It can't be because USB 2 port, can it? No. Right now it's in USB 2, so... Uh... Right, try that again. I don't see it really well on the screen, but that is actually a volume control. Okay, again. There we go. That's awesome. Yeah, I can see that. Seems like it goes like up and down at the same time. Yeah, that's because I'm coming down on a weight. I do this. <laughs> How fast can it go? I mean, detect it. Uh, well, the quickest is this then. Move it a little bit faster. Yeah, it's struggling a little bit, but it's still good. Let me try this. Doesn't like me at all, does it? Right. Why does it go up? Coming down, isn't it? I have to move the hand like all the world and I still can't get it. But up it seemed to be working fine. Yeah, up I can go easily. There we go. Nope. Wasn't that down? Yeah, it has a little bit of problems going down, but it seemed to be alright. So and this is a short overview of uh, Leap Motion. It seemed to be lagging because I'm recording the screen, uh, but anyway. So I will show the stuff in here. That's the App Store. Okay, it seems like the lag is gone now. Uh, basically, that's Airspace Home. That's the App Store for the Leap Motion. It's uh, totally free. However, some of the apps are not free. You have to pay for them. If you click on that it will just open the I honestly don't even know if you can see this thing uh, on the screen I haven't really tested recording but uh, I'm pointing on the airspace store if you click on that it can just open in a browser and you can install your stuff in there and uh, this is the touchless uh, for Windows this is what I had some uh, issues with and to start with uh, first of them uh, is uh, see how well I can click with this thing there we go 
uh, you type in uh, services you select that open it up and now you want to do uh, you just click on uh, in here somewhere right uh, still nothing right uh, then we click on L well the leap service uh, if that's running then it means the touchless is also working however the problem I had is that I could not left click I mean it uh, registered uh, that as a green circle like this in here but it didn't actually click the mouse so uh, next problem what it was is that uh, this one in here now the mouse is on it this tablet uh, let's see if I can extend this uh, there we go this uh, tablet PC input service uh, was not running but you need this obviously running for it and now it does work so uh, I have it on advanced mode which you can see in here you have uh, two inputs that's two fingers or you can have the whole hand in here whoops I accidentally clicked something there you go uh, and let's go into Photoshop which is really interesting which I actually wanted to try out uh, we can make a new file in here untitled uh, a little bit more pixels in here uh, there we go let's put uh, right, 666 that's fine it's a bit laggy because uh, I'm screen recording but anyway uh, I think that is the tool uh, what tool was that then? Uh, I think it is on that but uh, right so that's what it should do with a mouse I don't think you can actually paint in here seems like it uses the hand tool I don't know why uh, this is this is a bit uh, disappointing honestly let's see if I can use any other tools uh, looks like it's just the hand tool I really didn't expect that but well, let's uh, create a new um, layer Let's call it layer uh, one. Whoops. And what I want to do is um, select the pen again. And I have to do this with mouse. So uh, let's do it with a mouse. That is layer two. So uh, I should be able to move the layer. No, it doesn't do absolutely anything. Uh, it does have a hand tool, but I don't know why it doesn't do anything. This is uh, quite disappointing, honestly really hoping I can uh, draw with this like that but well I guess you can't so uh, but yeah so much of the leap motion then looks absolutely amazing you do need to uh, get used to it uh, it's a bit difficult going around with it but yeah I don't think that it's a mouse replacement yet because it's a little bit um, harder to use than mouse but all in all it's quite a simple tool I have to say so it's definitely worth buying I'm sure that there's gonna be more uh, scripts and programs that will uh, make the use it's uh, a lot easier so uh, we'll see what the future brings but so much of the leap motion and I say that I'm quite impressed with it